Uh, speed work. You know, we do a lot of speed strength training. Universal weight for speed strength is 80%. All right, we might use slightly more because uh, that's a speed strength sport. Like weightlifting is a speed strength sport. We're more in a strength speed or slow strength sport. So many times we'll use an extra 5%. It's really paid off in a squat. And uh, I just had a kid, my 123's best raw bench is 325. When he came here about eight months or nine months ago, he just smoked 325. So he put on 40 pounds right off the bat by doing this. A lot of floor dumbbell extensions. Extensions are the key. Your arm strength is the key. Um, but basically do that. You know, we, we used to do nine sets of three, but you can do six sets of six, eight sets of eight, ten sets of ten. Uh, do six sets of six. Work your way up. Let's say you get to 275, six sets of six. No more. Can't make progress. Start back over lighter weight. Go eight by eights. All right, that, and that's a lot. No, you're doing 36 reps, then 64 reps. And so you're an enormous amount of volume. You're going to put a lot, lot of muscle on you. When you can't do it, see, you get to eight sets of eight with 260. Uh, then go to 10 sets of 10. Again, drop the weight back, do 10 sets of 10, and do that for a few weeks. Normally, three weeks is as long as you want to do it. Everything should run in three-week ways because the body runs in 21 to 23-day cycles. So just train for a you know, three-week wave, drop back no matter what. But when you, when you get off the tens and you go back to the sixes, I will guarantee you'll break your six rep record. You know, within a couple weeks, you'll break it a couple times, then you move back to the eights. Uh, this is an alternative for speed day on strength. It's a hypertrophy day, uh, but it works. Most, for most, you can use a close grip, an ultra wide grip. I use the illegal grip. It really paid off for me. And uh, if you use an ultra wide grip, you have to do a lot of extensions. If you use a close grip, cut some of the extensions out a little bit. All right, and uh, again, you got th your three grips you're doing this with, so you got you can train yourself that way. And um, but uh, just make sure you know uh, on the speed day again, and accommodating resistance with lighter weight, you have to use bands or chains on the bar. I prefer bands that's got overspeed eccentrics. Chains do not. All right, overspeed overspeed eccentrics will cause a better reversal strength, not plyometric. A guy said one time that I said you can sit on the box, maintain a uh, a plyometric, uh, you know, flex for eight seconds. I never said that. I said reversal strength. There's a big difference. Read a couple books there, and you'll find out the difference. Uh, but that's a that's a start. I hope that's a good start for how to train your bench. If that's all you do. And secondly, you have to train your upper back. You're laying on your upper back. That's the foundation of everything. A lot of rows. You name it. Lots of rows. Uh, I never like. Uh, uh, lap pull downs. I asked, we would go in every morning, me and Chuck, before anyone get there, he'd do countless lap pull downs. And he had big lats. But I said, Chuck, what do you get out of lap pull downs? And he said, nothing. I just like to do them. But I never got anything out of them. But a lot of guys like chins, weighted chins. But do exercise at work. It does no good to be strong in, in the wrong exercise. So make sure you do exercises at work. But uh, again, uh, it, um, you know, the side, side raise, front raise, uh, rear delt raise, bend over, do real delt raise. Uh, train the muscles of the bench, the shoulders, the back, the triceps, and the, and, uh, and the chest. Train the chest last. Um, there's a note that you, people need to think about. You, it's always tearing your pecs. Uh, when George Hopper came here, he was strong as hell, 475 bench for two years. In one year, he did 628, okay, after he got here. But George would constantly tear a pec. Why? He would flex his pecs before his arms. And I said, George, you have to get your arms stronger than your pecs. Once they become stronger, you'll flex your arms first and you won't tear a pec. Lo and behold, two years later, he finally figured it out. We're not even sure how he did it, who gave him the tip or whatever, but it did sink in finally, and no more pec tears. Same thing when you squat. You know, in the bottom of the squat, if you push up your feet first, you've got to roll over to a good morning. You must drive against the barbell. That's what you're trying to lift, the barbell. All right, not how much force you can drive into the floor. How much can you drive into the barbell? Then you wedge yourself out of the thing. All right, so... Um, I hope that's a few uh, tips right there.